Yeah, we we deal with the parents a lot. And we are I, we've been saying this for years. You know, I don't want to say we were the first people that said this out loud, but we did. Uh, you, you know, recruiting starts at home. We spent we started noticing we were spending more and more time of you know folks and people that hit us up and go, hey, my son's going through this. You know, my, we've had we followed entire pipeline careers. People have been like, he he's at Airborne now, and he's at you know he's at Freefall now. They're telling him this is this right? Why are they doing this? We would ha we have parents that hit us up all the time. Um, and, you know, we find ourselves having more and more of those conversations. There's a fine line, though, Mark, and I want to I want to talk about this one. There's a fine line. We've had people hit us up and they're like, well, you know, my parents, girlfriend, friends, they just I don't know. They're just not OK with it and they don't want me to get in. What do you do in that situation? Because I'll tell you what I'm going to let you answer. And then I'm going to tell you what I usually tell them after that. It's probably not the good thing. But how do you handle that where somebody's just like <clears throat> they, they need that approval of those close people before they'll make the jump? No, absolutely. And with like girlfriends, especially young guys, I'm like, you're going to give up your entire life for like a high school girlfriend. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Good. Good job. Yeah. But, but parent, I mean, you gotta, you gotta sell the parents. If the parents don't want them doing it, um, they're not going to do it. But I will say this, um, like I have a lot of friends who, you know, listen to their parents throughout their entire lives and, you know, they're, they're still back in Las Vegas, just, you know, working the same job, they kind of feel it's meaningless. They don't have any job satisfaction. Uh, they see the life that I've lived and they're like, dang, I wish I could have lived your life. Um, you know, I, I always listen to my parents. I love my parents, but at the same time, um, like whatever I have wanted, I just did it. Um, and I didn't let people stop me. I didn't let people tell me no. Um, you know, my mom like rolled her eyes, you know, when, you know, she found out I wanted a combat career field, but she's like, yeah, he's joined the Air Force, whatever. I, luckily, like I had parents that were, were, were supportive, but, you know, any parent who hears a son saying they want to join a combat job, like a lot of them are going to kind of not want that. They're going to shy away from it. Um, I had an NCO, uh, Sergeant Francois, when I was a, a senior airman, he said, man, do what you want to do. Don't listen to what anyone else says. You do what you want to do. And I've like lived that mantra my entire career. Uh, there's going to be, there's going to be some haters. There's going to be people over you that want to steer you in a certain direction. Um, I've always had goals. I've always had things I wanted to do um, like professionally and on my free time. And there's people that are going to try to steer you away from those goals. Um, I've had people, you know, in Korea and Germany, they didn't like that. I like did MMA or did YouTube on the side. Uh, they, you know, you're going to, you're going to have some hate thrown your way. Uh, but I continued to do the things that I like to do and I've been massively successful in life. Um, but it's because, you know, I do, I do what I want to do. Hilarious that in 2015, 2016, you're like, Hey, you know how you reach people? You get on YouTube and you tell your story about your specific thing. You get there and everybody's like, that's dumb. You shouldn't do that. Mark, you're an idiot. <laughs> and now, and now look at now it. Here we are. And now here we are. So well, what's and, next for the bad boys, dude? What's next for the program going through the depth? You got any big events coming up? What's going on? We do. Uh, next big event, we have a Yosemite development session. Uh, similar to like what you guys came out and did in uh, Monterey. Uh, we're expecting that to be pretty big. Um, I have a few different big projects I want to do, like uh, getting a couple influencers uh, out. I won't disclose it until it's confirmed, but just very famous, important people and working with them. You know what, Mark? I'll take the Just I'm ask in. us. Thanks for asking. You know what, Trent and I, you know, we're going to say right now, I we're in. It. Okay. You guys have been, you guys have been out and you guys are welcome to come out to the bad boys anytime, but I got the worst sunburn of my life on that event. That was the worst. Really I, was, I was cursing you for a week, bro. It was was a, it's a me problem. Bro. You've ever done Aaron. It was, the, it was the worst. It was the worst sunburn I've ever had. Yeah. Yeah, not all the pararescue stuff, but that day on the beach was rough. But, uh, <laughs> you know, big marketing events like a wrestling nationals. We're doing the Baton Death March. Um, some big jiu-jitsu events coming up for marketing. Uh, but this summer, um, I'm trying to get into, like, big high school camps for wrestling, like cross-country, track and field. Um, just getting Air Force Special Warfare involved in those events. Um, I want to have an Air Force Special Warfare MMA or and or Jiu Jitsu week uh, at some point, bringing in like uh, some some famous people to host a week of training, uh, you know, just like a week long Jiu Jitsu or MMA camp, uh, build that up. Uh, but also I have uh, an idea to do a Special Warfare tour. 
So just hitting different cities, creating like a two week, three week itinerary. And I would just be traveling around the West Coast, uh, uh, going to different cities, building it up and just doing uh, big development days like like I do, uh, like I've done in Las Vegas, like I've done in Monterey, like we've done in um, uh, um, San Francisco. Uh, but yeah, just doing stuff like that. And then Chief Peaches, he came out to Las Vegas recently as well. I want to uh, shout out Chief Peaches. I had a lot of messages uh, from everyone uh, saying things like, man, he's a chief and he's out there getting it. I'm like, yeah, brother, he leads from the front. Uh, that's that's what these career fields are all about. Uh, but not only that, there was a lot of messages saying from you guys uh, or, or people reaching out to me about you guys saying they're like, yeah, we listen to their podcast all the time. They're very helpful. Like, I can't believe they came out and did the Las Vegas uh, Special Warfare Day or the Monterey Special Warfare Day. So there's like, everyone knows who you are and you guys help a lot of people. And I'll, I'll say that one of, uh, one of our recruits messaged me after the Las Vegas session. Um, and he, he messaged me saying, like, he's like, yeah, I reached out to One's Ready. I reached out to Chief Peaches. And he actually sent me a video message the day I sent off, got sent off to basic training, like wish me good luck and telling me not to quit. And he said uh, how much it meant to him. So you guys are doing a lot of good for a lot of people. That peaches. He's not a liability. He's the best. Little guy, huge heart. You know what Little I mean? Guy, big party, <laughs> big party, small package. That's what we say about Chief Peaches. He's out here. He's packing a lot of fun into a pint-sized little package, and we like it. Uh, <laughs> And I, yeah, I will put it out there. I will, uh, since I will be making Las Vegas my future home, hopefully the forever home, uh, I will show up at one of those events as well. However, I won't get nearly as good a feedback as Peach because I'm not as good of a person. So what else you got on the horizon, Mark? What's next for you, dude? I'm just out here goofing. <laughs> Boot goofing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm not kidding uh, fully. I, I do goof a lot. Uh, when Colonel Schindler talks about the people on the team, I am the clown. Uh, but besides that, um, yeah, I just my mission is to train, develop, and mentor the next generation of special warfare airmen. Uh, help out with marketing, help out the recruiters sell um, Air Force special warfare, give them the knowledge that they need to to go out and conquer their mission. Uh, you know, and I really, I really love that. Like, I love what I'm doing in recruiting. Um, uh, on my personal side, I. You know, I've been fighting a lot, been doing a lot of jiu-jitsu, been competing. Um, I should be fighting um, either in the all-Army combatives tournament in the next couple months, if they allow me to, being an Air Force guy, still working that. Uh, but if not, um, I have MMA fights coming up uh, in the April-May time frame and then the summer. Uh, so per personally, that's kind of what I have on the horizon. Um, long term, you know, I just want to travel every country in the world. I want to uh help a lot of people when I, when I retire you know who knows maybe I open up my own gym maybe I go be a teacher maybe I go coach um you know I've got a long time to figure that out but in the meantime I'm loving life uh things are good and I've got an awesome job and mission right now oh yeah feels like a good place to end so go follow Mark Funkley Bunkley wherever you can follow uh him on IG or through the NorCal bad boys page if you look up uh what is it Air Force Special Recruiting NorCal uh so my my work Instagram Air Force Special Warfare underscore NorCal uh personal Funky Bunkley uh YouTube Mark Bunkley holla at me on the platforms uh what else Did I got? I got all I have you on the platform. Right. So let's stop recording right now. We're done. <laughs> I wish I wish we hadn't had like continued to record this last 30 seconds. We could have done this on the back end. It could have just been a talk between the two. I could have been like, hey, give me your social media handles. I'll put them in the description or something. But instead, here we are. And I accepted that liability. Mark, you got me again. You guys, I'm going to high schools. I'm trying to keep up with the time. <laughs> You're doing bad. Nobody's a holler. Nobody. No, oh, you know what? Never. I got an 18 year old and a 16 year old. I'm gonna have them hit you up on your on your Instagrams and have him have them talk to you about it. But we want to say thanks, everybody. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Hit subscribe. Make sure you're following us wherever we are. Check out onesready.com if you want any training gear. We got entire packages to start you off from attackleague.com. Let's say you wanted to be a PJ. Guess what? Go over to the site onesready.com. Go to their pre setup training packages, and you have everything you need from start to finish, to prep yourself to get ready to go to Aspect Warfare. 
especially if you want to go to be a combat controller, which is cool, or TACP, which is the less cool version of combat control, but they don't go to dive school anymore. Anyway, bye. Have a great week. Ow. All right, talk Love to you, Mark. Bye. Time. When they do that, <laughs> they have no life skills when they get out. <laughs> they don't. Later, everybody. <laughs> okay, bye.